Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj, no nonsense strength training with another edition of my squat workout, just another step into my journey of reaching to 200 kg squat. I must say that uh, I don't always think about when and how will I get to my 200 kg squat because to me it's more of a journey and uh, it is very important as to what are the other things that I pick along on my journey and one of them has been my depth my depth was and still is not very consistent and i was as when i was editing this video doing um, uh, the edition, edition editing of this video sorry i did realize that uh, my squat depth in the first warm-up sets is not there and i know this very well it just feels that uh, it takes a fair bit of warm-up for me to start hitting my depth. And years ago, uh, that is how it all started. Um, and by that, I mean uh, me making videos of my squat, mostly squats and deadlifts and overhead press. But largely, it was squat that I wanted to get it right. And when I say what I wanted to get it right in a squat was my depth. I could not have it any other way where I'm not going to my depth and uh, hence why I think video analysis is a, one of the greatest tool and that is what has got me into you know posting my videos and then um, a YouTube channel so as I was editing this video I went through it and I realized that as the bar gets heavier and obviously I get into my groove and I'm about to hit my depth I have seen many People squat, um, um, you know, on YouTube, and uh, some of them uh, are pretty well-known lifters, Olympic weightlifters, Clarence Kennedy, Ivan Jurich, uh, to name a few. Uh, they seem to hit their depth straight away from the very first rep of their warm-up set. Uh, those two individuals that I mentioned are amazing and quite legendary in their own way, and uh, <clears throat> they. Um, they also squat all the way, um, what is known as ass to grass, but my squat style is not that. Nor it is a powerlifting way of squatting. Uh, I just have to go just below parallel. The hip crease has to be just below the top of patella. And uh, <clears throat> I don't need uh, to know... Uh, I don't need to worry about going all the way deep ass to grass because my thinking on that is different. But um, I must say that one of the good things about ass to grass squat and high bar squat is A, with high bar, you just get under the bar. You don't have to jiggle anything and it's there. Wherever it is there, you don't have to worry about by the way, in these reps, I think I have hit my depth. As the bar gets heavier, I was there. Second good thing about, really good thing about ass to grass is that because you're going all the way down, there is no confusion, there's no analysis needed whether you're going deep or not, or the required depth. So this is my 160. Mm, no belt, as you can see. I'm quite happy the depth could be maybe a touch deeper in the first rep and um, I have to say that like I admitted in last few videos that I was not doing justice to my depth and hence I'm going a little lighter and I think it'll take me a bit more longer uh, than what I usually planned for me to hit my 200 kg score it might not happen this year but um, uh, in next year 2025 it won't be too much into the year that will take me to get to 200 kg squat and when i say that uh, guys i mean uh, doing double or triple not just a single as you know um, powerlifting style is not my style just by doing one rm uh, and then um, to manage my sacroiliac joint i've started doing romanian deadlift rather than conventional deadlift and I'm really enjoying it uh, looking at this video once again when I was editing I thought maybe it's a, not a good idea for me to wear my squat shoes because it raises my heel and the bar has to travel a lot down <clears throat> but I must say that uh, this is a very 
light Romanian deadlift. I am um, very careful of not um, uh, flaring my pain issue that I have on my sacroiliac joint. And so far, Romanian deadlift are doing the job. They are amazing to do. The kind of isometric contraction that you experience on the way down and at the pause, oh, it is something else. So I'm uh, not really missing not doing deadlift, but there will be at one point when Romanian deadlift will become very heavy and uh, I will have to start doing deadlift conventionally. But I'm not going to rush because I don't want to um, awaken the pain demon that comes from my SI joint issue. I have to say that um, using peptides that I have been uh BPC-157 and TB-500 has worked and I will be doing a separate video on that. So um, watch out for the space. This must be 90. I think I've done more than 80 kgs. Yeah, this is 100. So yes, so far so good with the Romanian deadlifts, I must say. Uh, I might have to do them on a day separate than squats because by the time I've done squats, I'm quite heavy or my legs are not that full of pump. So yes, overall... Um, Squats, I am going light at 140-150 kgs is what my thing is uh, to really get my form correct, especially my depth and uh, accumulate a lot of volume in that rep in that weight range, 130, 140-150 and once I get that down pat, then I'll start you know adding weight. I don't think so I'll be, it'll take me too much of a time once I get my 160s to 170s to hit my 200 kg i'm that much sure as you know i have done these numbers in past i have done 200 kg in the past but in last year and a half it hasn't been that good smooth sailing and i want to get back to my 200 kg so that's just a quick wrap of what's been happening guys i'm uh, really uh, keen to share with you my journey the ups and downs uh, but so far uh, my pain is good it's not coming back I am uh, addressing the points of performance that is specifically the depth in the squat and it gives me a lot of pleasure that I am improving myself and I am not uh, ignoring my shortcomings. It can happen very easily when you are doing something that you will just do that and uh, think that you are doing it right. But I wasn't and uh, I am just fixing those things. But if you are enjoying my videos, my journey to 200 kg squat and otherwise other videos like my press video, 100, uh, my journey to 100 kg press, bench press, then please give me a like, subscribe and please support my channel. Thank you guys. I will see you next time.